So what I've done here on the Ridge Runner, you can see how, or I don't know if you can see, but I guess I'm using trees that are like 25 feet apart. Yeah, 25 feet apart, the longest that I've had them. And um, so far it seems like it's going to be a good hang for me. In the past I was using trees that would closer together and it wasn't working out so well not as well but um, I'm, I'm really liking the Ridge Runner I, this is my third third winter two and a half years now with the Ridge Runner and I'm finally finally getting the hang of it and most importantly for me was with respect to the spreader bars at the head end which is that the um, hammock was originally shipped with a three piece three pieces on the header bar mostly equal length and the um, material was was tighter of course when the bar was longer the older style had a three-piece bar with a with a sort of a six inch piece in the center which I saw on one of the videos an early video that they had was removed to make this span shorter which gave a better curve and so more more fabric here and I'm able to lay on my side easier it sort of makes this ridge runner a little bit more like the the bear who makes the bear mountain I forgot the name of that bear Bear Mountain Bridge Hammock. That was a nice one also. It was a little bit too deep here. Nice for side sleeping, but for the back it was a little bit of a shoulder squeeze for me. And even this, when I'm on my back after maybe 20-30 minutes, some shoulder squeeze sets in, but that's fine because that's when I kind of lay over to the three-quarter side. And I can fit almost all of my gear into the saddlebags and and the top another pocket and this is the double layer ridge runner so I have the pocket here to slip a pad in if needed but most importantly is the under quilt from War Bonnet, and you can just see the way this underquilt just with this carabiner snaps right into the suspension system. And it takes only a matter of seconds to put that on. It's just a really nice fit, really quick. No messing around. And a great night's sleep. I'm really, ha I'm really happy with this, with this hammock. I put the bug net away in the in the winter. I don't, I don't have a ridge line set up now, and and typically I do. And I found that the cords which hold the net up to the ridge line just are in my way more than they're useful when the wind kicks up. I'll put this up sort of halfway to make sure my sleeping bag doesn't fall out of the of the hammock and I don't know that I have the lightest setup going because I have because of the whoopee slings and you know I see all the other fellows are using a, um, a ridge line and they have their I guess it's a Prusik sling holding up the hammock but a uh, tarp but for me this is this has just been easier I mean to put extra tension on this and to move it 12 inches or 14 inches one way or another is just pretty simple <laughs> 